This collection is about the three Gorgeous Dam migrants, particularly the ones who gave up the new life at the settlement that is outside of the so-called dam region and returned to the origins that had been submerged. And we followed one of these migrants, his name is He Gui Zhen. So this collection is composed with a few parts. First, it's my journey to look for him. And also, after I found him, the story he told me about uh, how he migrated and how and his family moved back to their origin and um, where they are heading to from there. Also, uh, this collection included many, much of the context uh, that the story is situated. So in late 2010, I read an article in the China News Weekly reporting the story of uh, the returning three Gorgeous Dam migrants. I was very intrigued because of my background so from 1994 to 1999, I spent uh, five years uh, in the region. I studied architecture in Chongqing University. Back then, for that time, the Three Gorges Dam project just started and had a huge impact to our daily life over there. Everybody was talking about it. And yet, even I was in the region, this uh, project and uh, also the migrants have remained very abstract to me. I wanted to see the real person and uh, listen to the stories, individual stories by myself. Since 2008, I had been working on a project about the urban China. By 2010, the project was uh, wrapping up. Uh, so the possibility of the new project of the Three Gorgeous Dam Migrant was just great. Not only let me continue uh, my journey in China, but also lead me to the rural China. So in June 2011, I started my first step of the journey, um, I went to Chongqing and uh, hopped on a bus to Wushan to look for He Guizhen. So I would say the process of the whole project is very self-revealing and uh, somehow very personal. It was driven by obsession, somehow a little bit uh, naivety and luck. Um, the article in the magazine intrigued my interest. I also offered some clues, and I obsessed uh, uh, to find the people who was mentioned in the article, and uh, naively thought those clues could lead me to him. From the first step, the project started to unfold by itself, yet in a very slow pace. For a while, at the beginning, I didn't know it's possible for me to find uh, Mr. He Guizhen. And uh, I called the journalist who uh, wrote this article initially, but she couldn't offer me any further information beyond what had been written in the article. I didn't have any contacts in the region, so, but the article offered the clues that can lead me to one place and to start a project, which is Wushan. Eventually, a taxi driver was kind enough to me to the village where some of Mr. Hergrigen's fellow villagers migrated and uh, the craft vendor uh, on the riverbank uh, miraculously called Mr. He Guizhen and introduced me to him. So the process was not very straightforward per se, but in fact offered me the experience and the opportunity to just not, not only looking at Mr. He Guizhen, but to see much broader uh, context. So as uh, the website being is a part of the record of a uh, year in China, also, uh, as we said, it's an acknowledgement to the existence of individuals in the backdrop of uh, ever-changing China, which sometimes is very um, overwhelming. So everybody pay attention to China as the big thing rather than the individual. So this collection of Mr. He Guizhen so one of the tiny, teeny individual of millions of uh, the three gorgeous dam migrants uh, give us a lens to understand the so-called balance of uh, big and small and how to understand the mobility of individual, whether forced or voluntary, how the individual critical decisions were made uh, based on the policies and also the different circumstances. It was amazing how many issues of how much of Hergui journey 
actually is involved and revealed the big decision by the nation. So I think this project is uh, very important uh, through an uh, individual's lens to look at the nation. Uh, to me, the process of the entire project was very much eye-opening. The project uh, brought me to many places that I never had been. That was one moment I still consider very significant and had a big impact to me. Um, I was studying architecture in Chongqing University from the 1994 to 1999. So in 1996, Wushan announced the blueprint for the new city. So the design and the construction of new towns to accommodate the migrant was shifting in high gears and uh, in the extreme high demand. So um, many of my professors got a lot of projects to do for this region. As students, we start to move life for those professors. Sometimes even some contractor or some people, foreign men, came to us directly without the professor to give us some project as a gig to do. So the design work from small schools to large planning things, just uh, amazing, incredible. I have to say this is a very substandard because we never had a chance to visit uh, the site. Um, we never had a chance to know who the migrant uh, will be and uh, as an end user. But as a student, uh, that was an opportunity to design things. We just design things and even we think we're doing something uh, good and helpful uh, for the migrant. But after many years after, we just uh, almost totally forgot it. So in June 2011, uh, my first trip to Wushan, I went to a village. I saw a street, like, uh, almost like brand new, to the rest of the village. So they have a, a concrete paved road, and uh, um, two sides of the road are, are row houses with uh, the tile and a facade. Uh, cladded with tiles and uh, red and the white things that I knew. Interesting to me is nobody was using that. Those migrants, uh, the home are not in that kind of good shape. And then I asked uh, the migrant uh, what those buildings for. And uh, the migrant told me those buildings were built by the government initially, was intended to give to the migrant, but uh, never did. And the authority wanted to resell those uh, houses to them. Also, most importantly, those things are very bad uh, quality and not very good design. The design doesn't really fit what the migrant needs. So after hearing that what is said, I recognize those buildings is part of kind of the design we did back to 1996. And I, I was kind of shocked and also ashamed um, somehow. From that moment, um, I realized uh, the project I'm doing, the Three Gorgeous Dam Migrant Project, is not really about the person who has no relationship to me. It's not about the others. It's really uh, about me. And I'm a part of this project. I had a better understanding of us uh, so intertwined um, one way or the other.